Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Marwa and today I'm actually doing my first ever vlog. But basically, my original vlog did not go to plan. If you guys know anything about vlogs, you're basically like vlogging, video logging your day. So as you go through it, you're supposed to take videos or footages of it and, uh, you know, talk you through it. But basically, I kind of had the idea because I had a really, really busy weekend and I had the idea to do it on Sunday, Sunday morning. So I was like, okay, cool, yeah, yeah, we can do that. I can show them sort of, show you guys that my Sunday and then kind of refer back to the Saturday and the Friday and, and insert some footage of what I'd been doing. Um, unfortunately, and, and you'll, you'll know why, um, in a moment that did not go to plan at all. So um, what we're doing now instead is I'm gonna sit here, I'm actually gonna do my makeup because I'm getting ready to go to the cinema later. So whilst I'm doing my makeup, I'm just gonna chat to you and then I'm also gonna put in footage of the weekend that I actually had. So it's not just me chatting at you. Okay, so we start off on Friday, I guess Friday evenings, probably when things started getting quite exciting. So obviously like I have my day job, which I was doing, which I actually really enjoy and really love. Um, so I finished that and then afterwards I went and did some preparation because I was basically going to be on BBC Radio Norfolk, which is quite exciting. This is the second time I've been on. So the first time I was on, and it was just like a 10 minute chat. And then after that, they then contacted me last week and said, hey, can you please come on for basically half an hour and we want you to play some music as part of their community playlist, uh, which is very exciting. You know, I can't have been that bad the first time around if they wanted me back again. So that was quite, um, I was quite happy about that and excited and also extremely nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, very nervous, I think. The problem with the first time that I did it, I hate being on the phone, like it gives me a lot of anxiety to be on the phone to the point where when I'm on the phone I'm talking and I'm saying stuff and I'm communicating with normal but I am like sweating buckets, my heart's racing, my stomach hurts, like, it's just it's not pleasant feeling at all and when we did that first um, sort of interview that was a phone call conversation which then sort of went out on the radio so you can imagine like I wasn't feeling comfortable and this time though luckily they did it on zoom um i don't know is that a normal thing do other people feel that way when they're on the phone or is it just just me i don't know um let me know in the comments down below what i decided to do was to play some bachata songs play some um kizumba songs and some salsa songs and it was in that order um, and I just kind of tried to give a little bit of background for the genre of music, where they come from and the kind of dances that are associated with it, purely because I just wanted to give credit to where credit's due in terms of like the culture and giving the culture the credit and giving the culture the recognition that it deserves. That's what I tried my best to do. I hope I did a good job. Um, but it was fun, like it was really, really good fun to be on the radio. And it was really nice because a lot of my students and stuff were listening in. So I always really appreciate all of the support that everyone gives. Um, but if you would want to listen to myself on the radio, you can actually watch it. Um, I say watch it, listen to it on playback, um, BBC. But I think it's only available at the time of this recording, 26 days. So by the time I put this up, it's going to be less than that. But what I will do is I'll put the link in the, in the description here. So you can have a listen to, if you want to, sort of listen to half an hour of me chatting away. I had my radio show at seven, I also had to teach a class at seven. So basically Jack taught the class himself and the idea was I was supposed to turn up for the second class in time, which is at eight o'clock. So Jack taught the UEA class by himself and then the idea was I was supposed to finish the interview at half past seven and there was a bus leaving at 7.38 so I already had my shoes on. I was basically ready to like walk out the door but then we started a little bit late with the BBC radio and then it overran a little bit. So I ended up missing my bus and I had to call in reinforcements. So I was like, mummy, can you come pick me up please? So my mum, the star that she is, she came over, picked me up, dropped me to, 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 to UEA. So I ended up just in time for the second class to teach that one. Um, and that as usual was extremely fun to do. It's always fun. Um, teaching students and stuff, they are still so full of life and energy and, you know, that was me once upon a time. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, it was good fun teaching them. And yeah, and then after the class, came home and I went to sleep. Pretty much straight away, I think, I think maybe watched some Love Island. Right, I'm gonna put my eyeliner on now and, because I can't do this properly. 
and I'll be right back. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I am back. Um, where were we? Friday. So we just finished off Friday, so now it's Saturday. So I wake up Saturday, uh, kind of normal time, do a little bit of admin work for the business, and then I... Um, basically met up with one of my friends, Dodo, who was also actually helping me teach later that day. So we went to Erpingham House and we had some really like good, healthy, feel good kind of food that just didn't sort of make me feel really heavy afterwards. It just felt nice eating it. And also the decor is beautiful. How pretty it is inside there. And I like, strongly recommend anyone in Norwich or surrounding areas to go there, especially if you're looking for something just really nice and healthy. I will say I do find the prices a little bit expensive, but that like especially for like lunch, but then that's just my kind of budget, so that might not be the case for you guys. And then after we met up for lunch, we drove over to the UEA again, and this time I was teaching with, as I said, with Dodo, and we were teaching bachata basics, but it was basically for charity, so it was for it's for the UEA Ballroom and Latin Dance Club. And they were basically running a charity fundraiser for children in need and asked us to teach. Um, and they were doing three workshops or four workshops in the day, one of which was the Bachata Basics. So it was actually really nice to go and teach a completely different group of people um, and sort of introduce them to Bachata. So that was um, really quite fun. And um, we had a bit of choreography, which was a little bit, you know, a little bit more than more complicated than just basics um, but they seem to pick up really really well and enjoy themselves so that makes me very happy um, and then after after we taught that class more workshops so we did a ballet workshop I've never done ballet before like ever which was um, hosted around by Sophia Paloma and um, she basically just killed my thighs yeah it was good it was really good and some of the footage like you can tell that a lot of us haven't done ballet before like no disrespect to the other dancers at all not at all but like for me anyway it's very obvious i haven't done ballet before um but trust me when i say this i really tried <laughs> um and then after that we did a commercial workshop this was hosted by punch piraya and and she was doing it on behalf of um, UEA Dance Squad, orange on my cheeks. Um, on behalf of UEA Dance Squad, um, I really enjoyed the choreography. The choreography was really fun, really like kind of, yeah, just good. It was just good. It was it was hard, and I think I struggled a little bit to keep up with the choreography and the speed of it. But I think that's just from my lack of experience with commercial dance. Um, but again, it was really enjoyable. Another one that had me like feeling like I'd done so much exercise that day. Oh, that's is really bright. Okay, let's blend this orange in. I haven't done orange blush in a while because my hair was um, like a purpley pinky color. So if I did orange as well, I feel like I would have looked a little bit too colorful for me anyway. So I haven't done this in a while and I think I've just used too much. That's okay, just spread. Just spread it okay that's a bit better isn't it yeah okay so basically once those workshops had been done so what was that like five o'clock ish came home and then basically i got ready because i was then going to cambridge a few friends of mine um the senad was driving and i was with iris as well in the car we went to cambridge and actually there's quite a few other norwich people who'd come in other cars that were there as well and basically we went to um, a dance class slash party which was run um, and hosted by Brian and Veronica who do um, bachata in Cambridge and we did the class first and here's the footage from that uh, and then we stayed for the after party and we did a lot of dancing and it was really nice so I got to dance with lots of different people lots of new people which is always um always fun to sort of work out leads and like different ways um, that people lead. It's always really fun to try and um, dance with new people. So I enjoyed that bit a lot. Um, and then we ended up staying until like 1 a.m., something like that. Got back in the car, drove back from Cambridge all the way to Norwich. And I think I got into bed at about 2.45 a.m., which is for me really late. So at the moment I tend to go to sleep at like half 10. 10, half 10. 
Um, so that was really late for me, but you know what? I enjoyed it, I had a good time. I just ended up suffering the morning afterwards. So the morning after, which is probably, I ended up um, sleeping in. So for those that know me know that I'm actually quite an early bird, like I enjoy waking up early. I feel like my life is so much more put together. I feel more con in control of my day. Like everything's just better when you wake up early. And I ended up waking up at like half 10 and or like getting out of bed at half 10. Ugh, it was horrible, it was not good. It's not good for so many reasons. Um, but I, yeah, so I got up at that time and then I was already like in a rush because basically that was Sunday was when we had our Latin social dance party. Um, and I was in a little bit of a rush to like get ready, sort myself out. And I thought to myself, hey, you know what would be really cool? If I did a vlog of the day and if I then just talked about the stuff that I'd already done, like I'm doing right now, whilst I'm doing my makeup and getting ready so I can sort of more task a little bit and have a video ready for you guys as well. And then I couldn't find the little um, stand thing that my camera goes on, so I was like looking around for it everywhere. And as I was looking for it, the day was getting like, you know, I was running out of time more and more and more, because basically I had a friend, Iris, Iris, she was coming to um, sit and have like a little business chat with me. And it was just like the time was getting closer and closer. And as that was happening, I was getting more annoyed. I hadn't had breakfast at this point. Um, I was getting hangry. It was just, uh, you know what? It just felt like the worst day ever. And when I look back on it, it really wasn't. Like it wasn't the worst day ever. But it was just like, oh my God, I can't find anything. This house is a mess. Like where is everything? I'm running out of time. I haven't put my makeup on. I'm not ready for later. It was just like, uh, just really frustrating. Then I just had to like say to myself, I said, you know what, it's fine. It's okay. If I don't do this video, it doesn't matter. Like literally no one cares. It's fine. I'm fine. So I then was like, right, scrap that idea, fine. Um, I got Jack to cook myself and Iris some lunch and I'm so thankful for that because I just did not have the time. I was trying to clean the kitchen as well. And myself and Iris, basically we just sat down and, and the, the thing is like, we're both trying to get into the wedding market here in Norwich. Now I've done two first wedding dances. I've got, I've got a little bit of experience with that. And obviously I've got a lot of experience with choreography. I've done two wedding dances and stuff and I just kind of want to expand in that market. And Iris is a violinist um, who also does weddings, <clears throat> including things like audience participation or like walkabout performances while she's doing the violin at weddings. I just thought this if there's got to be some way of we, we firstly work together to figure out the market, to understand the market, make sure our branding is correct. We're just brainstorming basically. So we're just trying to figure things out. And that was just basically, I think it was about an hour and a half, maybe longer, we spent just chatting, brainstorming. Um, and it was just, it was really fun. Like I, I love talking about business. Like anyone who who's ever spoken to me about business knows how much I love it, how much I love problem solving, generating ideas, um, just like coming up with strategies. Like it's just, it's really quite, a passion of mine to be honest so yeah so that's that's what our little business chat business meet was about that kind of finished with about half an hour to go before the latin social party so we ended up finishing that and then jack and i went over to last pub standing where we did our latin social party and that was loads of fun as usual like it, it was a really good turnout again again i'm just gonna say a big thank you to everyone who constantly like supports us come to our events and um, and just seeing you guys have a good time honestly it just warms me inside like it just it feels really good um um and then after that we were supposed to go to my mum's dinner but i rescheduled it because i was so tired from the week i said i don't do late nights I just don't do it so i ended up rescheduling that and then i went to my mum's for dinner yesterday which was monday instead but yeah that was my weekend it was good it was really it was busy, so much fun, it was very social. Obviously I had ups and downs with having like a bit of stress and sort of oversleeping and stuff like that, which is just such a, it's such a minor thing, but you know, when you're in the moment, it just kind of feels like a lot. Um, and yeah, just like, just a good time, a good, good time. I'm just gonna finish off my makeup um, and then I'll say um, what's coming next. Okay, so I finished my makeup. I'm really excited to, to cinema later. I'm going to watch Eternals, which will be good. And I'm hoping to actually film a strictly reaction video 
um, to go out this week as well, but we'll see how that goes in terms of time. Um, interestingly, I'm actually got Thursday, Friday off from work, obviously still teaching in the evenings, but I've got it off from work, which will be really cool because I can just sort of kind of start thinking about next year's strategy for business and for classes. I feel like being called Norwich Latin Dance and only doing one type of Latin dance is kind of like not sitting right with me. So we need to start bringing back some other styles. Um, and also then sun Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm actually in London for four days, staying with my younger sister. I'm so excited. And I think I'll actually try and vlog that as well and actually properly vlog it rather than me just chatting to you. Um, so I think that will be good fun. So until then, until next time, I hope you have a really lovely day.